There's lots of different reasons why people don't show their face or don't drop their name on YouTube. And uh, that brings me to uh, what the drama at the beginning of this week that uh, took up a lot of my time. Oh, my phone. Blowing up. Um, the drama at the beginning of this week that took up some of my time that, you know, I'm trying to limit my time on YouTube now because I'm a, I'm a netaholic. <laughs> I'm an internet addict. Um, so, uh, Felita the Geek and Death of Speech. They come out with uh, some document, months in the making, this this uh, drama was, and uh, Vogter2100 said that his girlfriend, uh, Timon's girl, was dock dropped in some document that they put out uh, because her her Skype name was on it because it was a, a screenshot of Skype. This this episode is brought to you by Mountain Dew Voltage because I ran out of classic and I'm too lazy today to go to Walmart. Yes, I shop at Walmart. Sorry, people. I'm ashamed of it myself. Anyways, Tamon's girl is now gone from YouTube because of this drama. And she was a member of the Alliance of Demons. I've had some of my content mirrored on the Alliance of Demons. I liked her videos. And the biggest loss here is um, all of her silent videos that were uh, from the 1920s and, and earlier, all of those silent videos are now gone. That content is gone, you know? And I, I'm a, a proponent of free speech, not just because of, you know, it being, you know, the fight against people being silenced and, and the, the right of everyone to have an opinion, but sometimes... There, there is content on YouTube that is uh, more tacit information where, you know, I think it was a, a great thing for people to be able to search what 1920s silent films look like, you know, and she was providing this to YouTube and then people could search it on the internet for fucking free, you know, and all of that is gone. Um... So she was, uh, she, she felt chased off of uh, YouTube because she was dock dropped. And for some reason, her, her real name coming out on the internet was something that would put her in real physical jeopardy, just like Nesrin. Um, and there are a few other people that I know that haven't really made it known that they would be in trouble if their real identities were found out, because even that makes people sniff around, you know, looking for, well, why, you know, and they don't want to say why. So, there's that drama. And, and uh, I, I'm a fan of Octors. I've, I've been subscribed to him for a while. Um, I've sent him a few videos uh, taunting him because America is more beautiful than Denmark. Um, but in the end, uh, when you know people started attacking with flags and and uh, attacking with trolling to get Felita the Geek to take down that document, what it really did was it just spread the document around, and just like Inventor Gorilla's. Uh, ponage on the Ponage All Stars channel, you know, it goes down, and then people mirror it, and now it's got, you know, way more views than it ever would have gotten. This is a video with a purpose, and hopefully it won't, won't remain up for very long. Um, this is the first time I've spoken publicly about anything that's been happening for the past two, three weeks. Um, this is the first time I've had to. I'm asking the two people who just doc dropped my real, legal, real life information on YouTube and Google to please remove it. Uh, because at least one of you knows that that's my real 
legal information and um, it needs to come down. I've never dock dropped anyone. I've never been involved in dock dropping. I don't approve of dock dropping and you know that you just dock dropped me. So I'm asking you politely to remove it now. Thank you.